Hi there, and welcome to my Bloodborne Let's Play. Let me just preface this by uh, explaining why I'm starting partway through the game rather than from the beginning. I could get all high and mighty and pretend it's like there's a lot of playthroughs of the early areas of the game and not so much later on, but in all honesty I've only got the PS4 quite recently and I didn't really understand how to do the video recording until I was partway through the game. Uh, I wish I had recorded the fight with Vicar Amelia because that went really well. Um, took her down on the first attempt, which uh, I've not done before. In any case, this is just after that fight and on the way to Hamwick Channel Lane. I've decided not to record every single part of my gameplay because frankly I don't think you want to see me dying a million times. I had quite a lot of difficulty just getting between the cathedral lamp and uh, the first one in Hemwick Channel Lane, largely because there's a area with a large number of guys with rifles and it's really quite difficult to get the positioning right uh, in order to take everyone out and uh, to avoid getting killed in the process. Uh, to further complicate matters, the area has got several um, spiky dogs, which are basically the same as the uh, regular dogs found in Central Yarnum, except uh, they seem to be a bit more vicious. Um, they take maybe slightly more punishment, uh, but they certainly dodge more. Um, as you can see here, I um, am once again attempting to uh, take everyone out, and I believe I uh, actually get shot a couple of times in this instance. It seems the key thing for this area is to remember that there's quite a lot of cover. There's a lot of gravestones about, and there's also several trees. Uh, and if you can put those in between yourself and someone who's shooting a rifle at you, then uh, they're not going to hit. The area is quite well populated with enemies, but with a bit of patience and taking your time, you can get every get rid of everyone. Um, as you can see, I'm full up on Quicksilver bullets, but um, if you found yourself getting low at them, this is actually a really good place to resupply. Um, and I would imagine you can farm the area if you need to. Uh, quite often the spiky dogs drop uh, bloodstone shards, which is good for early upgrades. Over by these gravestones you can find a few items. There's some uh, thick cold blood to be picked up, uh, which gives you blood echoes when used. Um, and there's also some uh, bone marrow ash, which uh, I believe strengthens your gun, although I've not actually used it yet. Um, I guess it's good if you are not going with a blood tinge build, uh, which I didn't in my case. I'm just finishing off the uh, last few enemies here. Uh, there's um, a couple of riflemen and a couple of dogs left. I think there's just these are the last two here. I should take them out pretty much both at once. So uh, again, I can't take any more uh, quicksilver bullets because I've got a ridiculous amount. Uh, 99 in storage and 20 in inventory. You're not quite clear before the end, as uh, a couple more dogs and riflemen will attack you. Um, this is a little bit awkward because it's in uh, a somewhat tight space, so I found using the threaded cane was uh, the more efficient way of doing things, though uh, as you can see I still get shot by this guy. Uh, despite my flashy attempt to uh, jump and attack at him, uh, that was not so good. And once you're through with the riflemen and the dogs, you can uh, simply go through a gate at the end of the area and uh, very briefly after that there is the first lamp uh, that you can light and uh, go back to the Hunter's Dream, which is uh, what I choose to do in this instance. 
uh, as I had quite a lot of blood echoes. Um, there's no items uh, between the area with the riflemen and dogs and the lamp, uh, though I did have a bit of a poke around. Just after the lamp, uh, you go down into this uh, fairly open area which has got um, a bunch of uh, crazy women who will try and set you on fire or uh, chop you into bits. Um, a couple of them aren't initially hostile, but when you get close they will uh, move into attack. Um, there seem to be a few different types, a few different armaments. Uh, quite often they will drop uh, blood vials, as you can see there. I've uh, you know, turned blood into quicksilver bullets uh, because I was picking up another vial. Um, the one who has like the heated weapon, that's uh, quite unpleasant. Uh, she can also knock you off edges, uh, as uh, you may see later on. Going up here, you've got to be wary of someone throwing Molotov cocktails from up the top. This is, um, I died to that before, so this isn't the uh, first time I meet them. Um, as you can see, quickly go in and eliminate them, and uh, another woman with a big hammer as well. After that, you can go up here and there's uh, a brick troll, but you've got to be careful because, again, there's someone else throwing Molotovs from above, um, and if you go too far in, you will get hit by those. Uh, so your best bet, you know, swiftly grab the blood files if you need them, and then... Um, she, yeah, she killed me last time and got my, uh, she's got my blood echoes. Uh, managed to defeat her quite, uh, sharpish, even though she fell off. Uh, go back up. And, uh, you've got to be careful here getting to the next part of the area. Because if you don't pay attention, some, uh, as you can see there's a note here. Uh, someone will jump out at you, uh, if you're, and quite possibly catch you unawares. set myself up there to have a uh, Bolt Hunter's Mark, because uh, you never know when you're going to uh, need to escape. Just uh, a crow here. I always like to be quite cautious coming into an area I've not seen before, so uh, taking it slowly rather than charging ahead seems to be the uh, a good plan. A whole bunch of crows here, but uh, they fall quite easily to the uh, whip form of the threaded cone. And over here, as you can see, you can uh, unlock a shortcut, which is uh, a lift that goes down to uh, the area where the crazy women were uh, initially uh, bound in the uh, just just past the lamp. Uh, there's also a window with a uh, red light there, but uh, they won't tell you anything interesting. It's just uh, someone makes a series of horrible moans, uh, and I can't see that being uh, of any help to anyone. Uh, maybe they say something useful later, but uh, so far I've not seen it. At this point I go back to the Hunter's Dream to spend my blood echoes, and we'll be back again in a moment. I skip ahead slightly here, uh, entering this barn after defeating another rock troll and uh, a woman with a uh, heated weapon who tries to push off the cliff. There's uh, a dog to deal with in this area. Um, the main problem here is that it's actually very dark, so uh, equipping the hand lantern is uh, a smart move. Uh, especially if someone will appear right behind you uh, and could catch you by surprise if you don't take care. Moving further into the barn, there's a surprising lack of enemies in this area. Um, which could put you into a false sense of security, but uh, nonetheless, be on guard. Just up here, if you move quickly, there's uh, a loot enemy that you can defeat. <laughs> I miss with my first swing. Um, that supplies some bloodstone shards. And uh, over here you can also pick up a uh, 
eyeball, which is uh, a chalice ritual uh, component. I haven't really explored the chalice dungeons all that much, apart from the one that you get after defeating Bloodstaff Beast. Uh, if you go over these rafters here, there is uh, a guy in a wheelchair, no mercy for wheelchairs, um, who will, as per usual, give you a bunch of bullets. Uh, and you can go out over here, um, a blood gemstone, and the guy dead on the balcony gives you a madman's knowledge. Going back the way we came, cross back over the rafters again carefully. It's not too big a drop, so uh, if you fall it's not the end of the world, but uh, generally speaking you want to avoid falling if you can do. I'm just poking around here to see, uh, make sure I haven't missed anything in the uh, nooks and crannies. Coming out of here you go on top of some roofs uh, and there's a lovely view of the sea or uh, a lake, I'm not really entirely sure what that is. Um, going around and there's uh, more of these uh, villager women. Again, uh, lurking around the corner for the uh, uncautious hunter. This part is a little tricky as you can aggro both a villager and a brick troll at the same time if you don't take care. Um, as you can see I failed my parry on him and uh, he's causing me quite a bit of grief. And yeah, I've aggroed the villager as well so taking some blood. He's dealt with. And I finally managed to get the parry and the visceral off on the rock troll. And he's out of the way too. Going through here, a uh, couple of notes, warning of an ambush. So yeah, um, the woman who just jumps right out at you there. Moving forward you can go down a set of stairs. Um, but unfortunately, right at the bottom here, looking out the door, I can see, uh, well when I eventually get to the door. I can see a couple of executioners roaming about, and uh, having seen how unpleasant those were in the beta test, I uh, make the decision to use a hunter's mark and get out of there for now. And that's all for this first video. Please join me next time.